Fletch from All Things Overlanding here. On today's video, I've got one of the bags from Last US Bags that I am the most excited about. And I will show you why here in a second. Um, but when I saw them originally talking about this bag, I was like, oh my gosh, guys, please, I want one of those. And I had to have it as soon as it came out. Um, it's been out for a little while now. I haven't gotten around to talking about it, but so I wanted to delay no more. And I wanted to kind of at least show you guys this thing before I really get to put it through its paces, but it is awesome. There's so many cool features of this bag. It solves so many problems for me that I'm super excited about it. Um, so today I'm gonna be showing you this brand new Last US Bags Mesh Duffel. Um, again, there will be links in the description below to this on the Overland Addicts website, so definitely check that out if you're interested in one, if you wanna get one for yourself or any of their other bags, all amazing quality, all awesomely designed. Um, but let's dive into sort of the features of this bag and let me show you why I'm so excited about it. All Things Overlanding is brought to you by Red Arc Power Management Solutions. Rugged Bound Supply Company, rooftop tents, awnings, roof racks, and more. Overland Addict, premium overland gear. Last US Bag, overlanding bags and equipment. Northology Overland, trips and a monthly overlanding magazine. All of these companies are really amazing, so I highly recommend you click through the links in the description below to learn more about each of them. All right, guys, so let's dive into the Last US Bags Mesh Duffel. Um, again, I'm put on the screen here the exact SKU, like the, the item number for it, because they've got a couple different sizes of this. I think this one's the bigger one, which is what I wanted, because I have a lot of plans for this and I'll show you why here in a second. So let's talk about features first, and then I'm gonna kind of talk about you know why I picked this up and what my plans are for using this. Um, so first of all, just a great looking bag, right? Like a good old fashioned rectangle, sort of cubed, I guess cube is a square, a rectangle, rectangular bag, um, duffel bag style, right? Again, I wish that you could kind of see this through the camera better, but like it has this like, I, I wanna say it's real leather, but it feels like super high quality. Um, sort of buttonable strap so that you can hold both of the the hand straps together But again, like the quality of this is just super amazing. Like it's really well made It's you know, you can kind of see the cowhide on the inside. That's why I think it's real leather um, But so then that holds your straps together So again, this would be a perfect gym bag or something like that if you're just if you're not even it's not even about Overlanding for you if you're just looking for like a really high quality bag that has some really cool features that I'm gonna show you in a second um, This would be a great option for you but so you can strap your handles together so that it's ready to go at a moment's notice. You know, you're ready to pick it up. Um, it also has this really nice adjustable shoulder strap. So again, if you've got a lot of weight in here or something, you want to throw it over your shoulder, you can carry it that way. Um, there are clips on each end, so you could detach this if you wanted to, if you didn't want to use it, you could do that. Or if you wanted to throw it over something, right? Like let's say you wanted to hang this bag up at camp or something over a tree limb or something that you had to unattach it for, you could just unstrap it and then put it up through your awning or something, right? And restrap it and hang it if you wanted to. Um, you know, in the front here, there is a really nice zipper pocket and it's got, it's pretty good size in there. Like there's a pretty good amount of room. Like maybe about two hands worth of room in there. But so, you know, what I'm kind of picturing with this bag for myself is this is gonna be like all my gear. So when I go on like longer trips and I have clothes and stuff, I've had one backpack that I've used for years and years, but I put like gear in it, I put batteries in it, I put like a fan in it, all my stuff that I'm gonna use on the trip goes into that and I very seldom have, you know, I throw my laptop in there, I throw all kinds of stuff, cords, charging cords, that sort of stuff. But then I almost always find I don't have room for just clothes. And then when I do, I'm digging through the clothes to get to my fan or to get to my a battery pack or to get my keys or to get something, right? A, a charger for my watch. Um, and so everything gets to be a mess. It's just a disaster. I can't find anything. Stuff gets dirty and stuff because the bag gets left open and then I'm driving and dust gets in and then all my clothes are dirty. It's just a mess. So my intention with this bag is to use this for like, you know, this could be like my charging cables, let's say. All these, these smaller pockets could be for that sort of stuff. The stuff that I, I want to put all my charging cables in one place, boom, they all go in this front pocket. My clothes, again, my backpack will have like my camping gear, my flashlights, my lanterns, my you know, my knives, my fire starting stuff, all that stuff can go in there. My fan, my, you know, heat electric blanket, if it's winter, that kind of thing um, can go in that backpack. And then this will just purely be for clothes. Like I will just put all my extra clothes and socks and underwear and that sort of stuff in this bag. Um, so anyway, so that is kind of what I'm thinking for the bag. So moving on to more features at each end of this bag on both ends, there are zippable, really large pockets. 
So you can unzip this on each end. And then check this out. You'll notice that that material in there is like a waterproof vinyl. And you may be wondering, hmm, why is this like a waterproof vinyl on the inside of this pocket, right? Well, the reason is, so again, you could put whatever you want in this outside pocket here. You could put, um, you know, maybe this is dirty clothes, right? Maybe you get done at the end of the day, you got dirty clothes, you jam those down in the end pockets if you wanted to, just to kind of keep them separate from your clean stuff. That may be what I do. Um, but the reason why these have this waterproof lining is because on the inside here, oh, and before I forget, on the back here is also another really big pocket. So just, it's a mirror image of the front pocket, right? Um, there's another big pocket back in there. So maybe one side is cords and, you know, the other side is like, keys and wallets and stuff like that when I go to bed at night just gives me a place to store that stuff. Um, but so here's the really cool thing about this bag and the reason why this thing has waterproof uh, inner components. First of all, when you open the lid, it has this waterproof vinyl mesh top. So again, let's say that you had some flip-flops or something that you wore into a water crossing or something and they got wet. You wanted to let those drain out. You could put those up here. Again, if you have clean clothes in here, you don't want to do that. But if you get to the point where this is like all dirty stuff and you want to use it for that, boom, you've got the ability to, to dry stuff off with that lid. Now on the inside, you'll notice, you'll notice that the entire inside of that bag is made of that waterproof material. And then the bottom is that vinyl coated mesh. The reason for that is again, they are very smart in their designs and you can basically, unzip a zipper that runs all the way around the bottom here. Oops, There's two zippers, gotta know how to work it. So you unzip these two zippers and then the bottom actually opens up and lets that mesh breathe. So again, if you have got wet clothes, if you've got dirty stuff, you could, depending on how much stuff you have, this is a pretty good sized bag, but let's say you wanted to keep recovery gear in here. If you had a bunch of like straps, kinetic rope and stuff like that, snatch blocks, you could throw all that stuff in this bag and just make this your entire dedicated recovery gear bag, right? And you keep the bottom sealed up when you're going on a trip to make sure no dirt or anything falls out of it. You go out on the trip, but as you use it, maybe when you get to camp that night, you've got all your recovery gear in here. You've used it a couple times, it's muddy, it's wet. You could just unzip the bottom of this thing. You can use this strap on the top, right? And you could hang it through your awning or hang it over a tree branch and let that stuff air out and hang up at camp. Um, so I love the idea of this for like a dedicated recovery bag. I love it for a clothes bag. Again, I'm gonna use it for a clothes bag because I already have a dedicated spot for recovery gear. And then when I'm not using or when I do get it muddy, I use my last US bags trash bag to put it in to let it dry out. So if you've got that, that may be an option too. I'm gonna use this primarily for like clothes and stuff just to keep all my stuff separate and really well organized. But there's so many cool uses for this thing, right? And again, I just love the feature. I love that they thought of that, right? Maybe you don't have to use it. Maybe you just keep it as just a really nice bag, right? That you keep your stuff in. But it's really nice to have as an option. So, I mean, again, maybe something does happen where you accidentally drop all your clothes in the creek or something, you know, or you get flooded out. Your vehicle gets flooded and all your stuff gets wet. You could throw everything in here, let it dry out. You're good to go. But I love the functionality of it. I love the fact that they thought about that stuff for overlanders, right? Like for people that have these needs, for people that have like a ton of recovery gear, big recovery ropes and stuff. Those things take up a ton of room and they get wet and muddy. This gives you a way to easily take those, you know, when you need them, you grab this bag, you throw it in your truck. When they get dirty and muddy and wet, you hang it up on a tree branch when you get to camp, you open up the zipper on the bottom, you let it drain out, right? So just so many cool things that you could do with this. I'm super, super excited about it. I also just think, as always with their stuff, it's just a great looking bag, right? Like it's just a good looking uh, bag to have. Um, so I'm super excited to get to use it more. Um, I hope that that was helpful for you. I hope that that gave you some great uh, information and content on this bag. Um, if you have any questions, post up in the comments below. I'd be happy to answer them for you. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know, you know, what uh, maybe similar stuff you guys use. Whatever, whatever you want to talk about in the comments, I'd love to hear from you. Um, as I mentioned, there will be a link in the description below to Overland Addict's website. He sells all of this last U.S. bag stuff. Um, so definitely check that bag and all their bags out because they're just amazing. I mean, you could outfit yourself for life basically with these bags because they just last forever. Um, so definitely check those out. Also in the description are links to Facebook, Instagram. I have a podcast too. So if you're into any of that stuff and you want to come hang out, I'd love to have you as part of that conversation. In addition to that, I recently started a Patreon page and my goal with that is really to make it into like a fun, communicative, sort of private 
place for us all to chat with away from the elitists away from like the tens of thousands of people in Facebook groups and stuff we're just people that are really into like beginner overlanding or want to you know get to know more about overlanding can kind of come and hang out and chat and ask stupid questions without fear of like being made fun of right um, so definitely if you're into that if you want to you know have influence on videos that I make in the future if you want to get to preview videos before they come out that kind of stuff all that's happening on the Patreon page, so I'd love to have you over there. Uh, again, link in the description below. Go check that out. Um, and then last but not least, the store. Of course, I do have a store down there. I sell patches and stickers, so again, it has to do with overlanding. If you're into overlanding, you like stickers and patches, definitely check that out as well. Um, Oh, and then my featured partners too are down there. And again, these companies are all amazing. Last US Bags is one. Overland Addict who sells their stuff is one. Rugged Bound who makes my tent is one. These people are just like cream of the crop, like the nicest, best customer service, best products. That's why I work with them. I love getting to pick these like smaller guys that, that you know, are doing great work that just need some more exposure. Um, so definitely click through those links below and go check them out as well. I appreciate it. Um, if you like the video, click the like button. If you aren't already, click that subscribe button and the bell to be notified when new videos drop. I do a couple a week, so tons of content here for you. Um, but again, thanks for watching. Post up in the comments below and we will see you next time. <laughs>